Smoke a blunt with my nigga in all red. Lay a nigga dead. Yeah, Corey dressed just like a grape. Yeah, a grape on the eighth. Yeah, put some food on my plate. Yeah, and pack on some more weight. Tequila? Yeah, and get heavy like freight. Sure. Yeah, and win every debate. Nice. Yeah, chain smoker. Yeah, yeah, and it ain't over. Yeah, pass it to my nigga over my shoulder so we can tell you what he on today. Hey. In the gray in the red. Hey, bitch, you heard what I said. Yeah. Make some money in that bed. Hey, hey. And bring it back to the red. Hey, hey. hey. I'm a sled. Like hey. a Santa Claus. Hey. Bitch, all on the nigga hey. balls. You Dick all like in the jaws. Working for the fans. Woo! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Man. We in the house. We done found a way. Oh, we can't see Come the chat. Come on through. Oh, yeah. We can't see the chat, but they gon' do what they do somehow. That's gonna go back up. Cracking. Ain't no hacking. Hey. This formula we done put together. People say in California got cold weather. What? Hey. It ain't cold outside. No. Everything is nice. Hey. Twin in the house. Hiding hey. in the back. My people. Electric slide. Go back, got on a coat. The birthday boy, he can have a whatever That's matching he his hat. He hey. the birthday boy. Yeah. He 25. Hey. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. How about that? Brain what up? Chat. And I'm gonna bring this How shit back. Yeah. On the Man mic I just year. smacked. Have no fear. Special right tat 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 tat. Oh. She <laughs> came with a rap. Oh, <laughs> say it again. Say it again. I said, I said it's the end of the I'm the best when I. There it is. Oh, we're yeah. twins. There it is. We got the beautiful lady bringing drinks tonight. God is good. Yeah. God is good. Go back in the house. We at the Baller Academy, goddamn. I mean the Coin Academy. Coin Academy. The Baller Podcast. My bad. There's some ballers in this hole though. In that photo, Cut it we down. the ballers yeah. in this hole, though. Shut it down. <laughs> right in that photo, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. We the ballers in this. Yeah. Right in that photo, though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. That little Michael Jackson, Jackson thing photo. in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Right in that photo, though. Yeah. 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 Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Get up for the yeah. band. Woo! Everybody in here, 
sitting around acting like this ain't no party tonight. It's my man, Go Mac. Birthday. It's a players ball in here today. Semi players ball. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know it's a pimp in here too, so you know. Semi. <laughs> right, semi players ball. Everybody ain't do it like they're supposed to do it. But this is a beautiful thing, man. We done met some real allies at the 5150 show this year. I say again, we up here at the Coin Academy, home of the Baller Podcast, uh-huh. which I will be appearing on this year. Um, up there bringing that 5150 additive to whatever being talked about, man. And I'm just saying, we are going to do a little abbreviated show tonight because we be trying to keep it going to everybody who stay up and uh, be waiting on us to come through for you. We trying to come through for you, man. It is a very attractive woman walking around bringing everybody food. Drinks. Oh, Got yeah. them bringing them drinks. You know what I'm saying? What's her name, Layla? It's one of the coin angels. Angels, yeah. all right. God damn it, she looked like she ain't never did nothing wrong to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Take me to heaven. <laughs> cheers, Marcus, cheers. Oh, cheers. Cheers. Oh, cheers. 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 Where's all that stuff on the top of your drink, D? Tahin. Tahin? Oh, you okay. know, they put Tahin. She put Tahin on there, thing. Tahin? Mm. Yeah. Uh, I ain't yeah. even up on it. I just know. Yeah, they put it on watermelon. Look at the sister right there. She got something. Is that oh, yours, yeah, Craig? Oh, yeah. nice. Yes, God water. is good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Water. Yeah. Double water. Double water. <laughs> Nigga might order some more GP. You know what I'm trying to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> you stupid. I want to say to all of the people who um, are at home tonight, Trying to make up with the girl you couldn't find a way to see on the special holiday called Christmas. <laughs> boy, these girls got some good excuses this year, boy. Man. What y'all tell y'all side bitches on motherfucking Christmas? Anybody got something to say about that? Everybody's got I, I got COVID, bitch. We got a <laughs> That's the number one. That COVID is the excuse for everything. That would be hilarious. Maybe if next said, year. <laughs> no, you can't mix COVID. Your no, COVID please. might be different than the next oh, person COVID. Stop. That's the doctor say we can't mix COVID. I call mine from an African. This shit'll kill a regular motherfucker. <laughs> 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 we got upgraded I call mine horseback. Yeah. COVID, man. I call mine from oral sex. You don't need to see me. Oh <laughs> you got COVID eating pussy. That's that funny. <laughs> He cuts it inside of you. You got all of it. Right. Yeah. That's what happened, though. Everybody be shy to talk about what's really wrong with them. God damn it. That's how I got it. Yeah. This time. Yeah. <laughs> Don't nobody like to yeah. say it. I know I'm putting y'all on the That's spot. That's why you got to wash your face when you're done with her because it lives longer in your mustache. Oh that's what happened to got trapped it in It lives here. longer. Yeah. It fermented oh, in this Yeah, yeah, that's why, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. why I shaved my shit, you know what I'm saying? Because this shit live, yeah, you, you know, the bacteria should live into you. But if you live with a woman huh. and you sick and she ain't sick, that means she gonna be looking at you crazy when you coughing and going through it. You must get your woman at home sick. Oh yeah, yeah you got to. This is how it go. Yeah. You got to. She either gotta be sick or got to, And yeah. you be well before her, so you got a couple of days to hang out. Yeah, the house gotta be balanced. Yeah, yeah. 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 You gotta be coughing in well. Yeah. <laughs> Try to say the kids, be like, don't, don't come in this room. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's anyway, funny. so check this out. Um, we ain't got the chat room up yet. I guess they are gonna get to it eventually. Well, sometimes we feed off the energy of the chat room when the people who ain't got um, nothing good to say, say something. When the people <laughs> who got something good to say, say yeah. something. Just when people say something, sometimes we can feed off that energy. So I am hoping we can get the chat room up. My man, um, check and see if it's on. Gabe is trying to get there. Y'all don't understand, it's a lot going on tonight. Yeah. This ain't no regular night. Go Mac is celebrating his 21st birthday. 20, now he went down to 20, <laughs> 21. I love it. Yeah, he going to um, go on and get them finger waves uh, for a New Year's Eve party. We're going to call, call old boy who did Marcuse. Look him up with a piece. Wherever you at. Oh, there you go. They go to chat. Is it? Welcome oh, yeah. back, they say, yeah. Craig. Marcus yeah. was Mickey hey, Barnes right hand <laughs> man. Precise. <laughs> <laughs> talking with Dolphins. <laughs> Crazy. Let's just go on here and get the precise shit out the way. Look, my brother precise. Um, I ain't got nothing bad to say about my man. He didn't have my back too much in this world. But sometimes our brothers, sometimes they, they um got to go through what they got to go through before they um can, um I guess the word I'm trying to say, 
blend in as they need to blend in with the crew. Yeah. It ain't nothing bad to it. It's just, you know what I'm saying? We had to get things where they must be. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't got nothing bad to say about my brother. I, I know what he's going through, or I've watched what he's go through. So you can't, my point of view of what's happening ain't the same as y'all's point of view of what happened. Because some people, they just like, yeah, whatever, 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 somebody down. I feel like my brother down, and I'm there for him when he's ready to get back up. And I mean that 100%. There you go. Back to yeah. the good shit. Yeah. yeah we got to see Gomax's outfit, though. He definitely yeah, has Go to Yeah, Gomax got to come on come. camera with he that motherfucker. Come on camera. Come I'm on, about to match guy. this motherfucker up with match yeah. this up. Uh, yeah. Is he going to come? Oh, shoot. Yeah, come on. Oh, man. Come on, Gomax on the bench. Oh, hey, boy. Go back on the bit. Yeah. Oh, hey, boy, oh, wow. them Detroit niggas going to be looking for that Ooh, outfit, boy. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Go back, got on the bitch. I don't give a fuck if it's oh, cold out here. Hit the he's track he's outfit on. Oh, come on, on there. Go back. Can he, yeah, see, can he yeah. be seen yet? Yeah. Yep. Go back. Come yeah, on, look at that coat and hat match up. Happy birthday, Go back. That's right how they now. do it on the West Coast. Hey. That's how they do it on the West Coast. There it is. My man, hey man. Go Mac. Thanks for all the blessings this year. Y'all put Most definitely. on the 5150 yeah. show. My nigga just like, you pimp disabled bitches. Like, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where's my walker for my bitch? No. <laughs> Love for real, Go Mac. Love, yeah, man. Yes, Go Mac was so generous last week, man. Man. Passing out Christmas presents. You know. And, and Kim. Why Ain't nobody gave me no Christmas present for Go Mac. Everybody gave me shit, but go back. Yeah. I ain't just Get saying fast. that. My sister sent me, or was trying to send me, a painting that she bought from a nigga on the street. So I gave her the address where I want that to go to. <laughs> but go back. There it is, man. Ain't nobody gave me no present but you, man. I appreciate you. That's right, Kim. Thank you. She's a, she, she hooked all the presents. Go back, got this girl up there. Thank you, Kim, for picking out... Just got us some Versace shades. Oh, they're clean too. Wow. All the t shirts that custom made. Oh, that's oh, got me a t shirt with my high school picture on there and me hooping. For real? Yeah. What? Uh-huh. It's, oh, I want to wear it. Can yeah. I see the high school hoop picture? We got I, I think, I don't know if I still got it in the car. Okay. I might have yeah. took it out, goddammit. I ain't want nobody to steal that. No. Oh, somebody really wants to go with it. <laughs> yeah, they gave, I had one Happy with my preschool. Go back, somebody say, but that's but a 70 other white team. I was on the bank, I was on freaking on the bitch. Ah, <laughs> that's, What'd you say, Marcus? Marcus, <laughs> I, I love your outfit, how exactly, you got on the red. Really, I did. You pimped that out, dog. Oh, yeah, man. That's how I used to dress back in the gap. You, you know, know like, what I'm saying? Uh, when I had holes, uh, you open that gap. You know what I mean? Oh, my Lord. You had holes open the gap for you? Yeah, yeah. Fall into the gap. You got anybody who's gonna back that statement up? <laughs> That's it. Hey, yeah, plenty of people tell you that. Plenty of people tell you that. I was bad motherfucker in Arkansas. Shit. <laughs> we, we, in Arkansas. <laughs> I didn't even know it was bad niggas in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I I'm one of a kind. Yeah, that nigga supposed to be dressed. That nigga supposed to be born somewhere else. Them niggas wear Timberland with no socks on. Yeah. Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> Them Arkansas boys. <laughs> Arkansas different. Paul Bunyan pictures on their wall. <laughs> anyway, we got players coming down the stairs. What's up, player? Respect, baby. On? I'm yes, shouting out everybody. On? One thing I learned in this world is when you walk in a room and you don't know somebody, and I hope everybody listen to this, speak to people. Because that's what you're supposed to do. But do you believe we don't know how to do that a lot of times? Because I'm going to tell you something about city life. City life make it where you think you're supposed to come in and be bold or tough or cool. But when I'm out in the country, Uh out there in Alabama, Gordonsville, all them people just say, hey, how you doing? Just on GP. And it's actually something that disarms people. You know what I'm saying? So when you see people out there, don't look cool, don't look tough. Just go and speak to them. I agree. That's, I that's mean, that's, that's what I was raised. Yeah. You from Arkansas. Y'all yeah, got yeah. to speak to people. You're looking yeah. for every opportunity you can get. Coming from out there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of arrogance out here in Hollywood. <laughs> now, we don't, reason, ain't, I should take my mask off. Are there there's any, a lot of people in here. D, don't get sick. You know you get sick, goddammit. No, because I have Your surgery fall coming out. up. My, my second surgery on my hand is coming up on the 12th. I'm when D up. had that COVID, her hair was damn near gone. <laughs> it is gone now. This is just D a D was at Shanika, damn hair salon, getting weed put in. Oh, no, I would never get me. That's major hair 
Careful. Careful. Duck tail. Careful. Duck tail. Wigs, though. Yeah, I do. No, we don't want you to get sick. You keep your mask. on the 12th. Surgery for what? Well, that's strange. Got hand hand left over some scratch. What? What's your? People, everybody don't know what's wrong with your hand. Oh, I have. Some I have people think you're getting tubes tied. You got. Oh God. What happened? I don't. <laughs> I know. I know a 60 year old woman got a tube tied. That would be a Why? waste. That would be a waste of surgery. Why would she waste money at exactly. 60 on Exactly. She had just tied. got some insurance for the first time in her life. <laughs> she didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> she was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want to test it? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, I want to see if they're going to pay for it for real. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter how for sale, big dummy. You can still get it if you're vaccinated. I don't want to get sick at all because then they will put my surgery off. I don't want to do that. Can we talk about that, this thing where there are so many people who have not only been vaccinated, they have gotten the booster shot, and as we call it on the 5150 show, uh, Thank you, Jay even though they got the poison put in them, they still getting sick, and this is what they tell you, which I think is really a big slap in the face when they tell you that, oh, well, it helps you if you get sick when you don't get hospitalized. I'm like, why do they talk to people like that? Like, if you can get it while you are, I guess, vaccinated is the word we want to use, um, what is the vaccination for? Right. Severity. I like to cut it down. But, but you got to look up the definition of vaccine. Let's put it up real quick. You better, you better give up the definition of vaccine? Let me tell you something. When I get busted, like if I get busted doing something wrong, especially when I was younger, like you get caught cheating on a girl, I would say, yeah, but I wore rubber, so it ain't really that bad to cheat. Right, right. It's like they trying to say in so many words to me the same thing. Right, right. Any preparation used as a preventative. Wait, 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 wait you gotta now, say what I it is. Wait, what are you giving? You give it, he just was about to say it. <laughs> what, are, what are you doing? I'm giving you the definition of vaccine. He oh said, I'm God. giving you the definition of vaccine. Defin- no, definitely. Do you know you said, give me the definition. <laughs> <laughs> he from Arkansas, y'all. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And they can start talking with his ass. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Hold <laughs> off your ass, nigga. <laughs> Fuck you <laughs> in the ugly ass shirt, baby. <laughs> hey, Craig be wearing some ugly <laughs> shit, though. <laughs> but he likes I mean, getting them hoes still I be like, I when Craig that. comes back home. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'd rather wear ugly shit than be ugly. <laughs> Oh, that nigga just, oh, that nigga oh, just oh, like an abusive shit. father. Nigga. That shirt came with a reflex. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what? What is the definition of um, the word you were saying? Any preparation used as a pre- preventive. Ooh. Take your time and try. Oh, like this liquor. Hey, this liquor will hit my tongue. Of the liquor, course, the liquor, liquor was hit my tongue, man. Fuck you, man. Marcus, breathe. Give it up for Shug Nice Lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for Shug Day. <laughs> <laughs> you look like the nigga who was shooting that look gun on Harlem Knight. <laughs> 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 Don't shoot that motherfucker. No, Fuck you, like Barney. He, he, do all the, he do all the hiring at Death Row Records. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he paid the DJs to play the song. Oh, I'm just fucking with you. Okay, Marcus. Yeah, yeah. Marcus okay, is about to give the definition of vaccination. <laughs> all right, go ahead, Marcus. Any preparation used as a preventive inoculation to confer immunity against a specific disease. I'm going to stop it right there. Right. What was that word you said? Inoculation? Let me say any of them. Yeah. Inoculation. Why are you stopping right there? Craig, read, read it, um, California school district staff. Any preparation used as a preventative inoculation to confer immunity against specific disease, usually employing an innocuous form of, of a disease or agent as killed or weakened by bacteria or virus to stimulate antibody production. Innocuous mean when you give somebody something. So next time you argue with your girl, bitch, I'll knock you with your head. <laughs> now, if, if this is supposed to make you immune to the motherfucker, yeah. I'll knock you with you out. But did you bitch. hear what you said? That, now, I'm glad that hit your mind. See, Marcus <laughs> just got country accent, but Marcus is actually very wise. No, he's smart, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, say that again, what you was going to say, Marcus. If it's supposed to make you immune to the motherfucker, and it ain't making you immune to the motherfucker, right. then what is, how in the fuck is it considered a vaccine? Mark is the only nigga with a, uh, with a radio on his horse. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got a horse with sound. Craig is back, yo. Craig dressed like when your TV going out. <laughs> 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 but what Marcus said, just on his, he thought about it after he read it. It's basically what I said. They're calling something a cure or whatever. Well, at first they were saying the cure. Mm -hmm. Now they're not saying the cure. Now they're saying it helps you if you get it. Right. But according to that definition, what you said, mm -hmm. you're not supposed to be able to still get sick if it is what they say it is. Right. Now that is... Yeah. Quite interesting. You got something to say about it, Craig? Well, uh, you know, um, etymology is everything. Words and definitions. People don't know like, what etymology is. Etymology is, like me. is the origin of words and the meaning of words. So right. the, one of the first couple words was preventative. So it said any preventative. It don't necessarily mean mm -hmm. shots. If you go to the gym and work out, if you eat a lot of well, vitamin D, right. It, right. it don't say specifically shot. It says any preventative measure. So, I mean, technically, based on the definition, if you're taking care of yourself, you You're vaccinated kind of should yeah. be a vaccinated, mm -hmm. right? I mean, you know. According to what you say right there. Well, no, that's the, according to the definition. It says any No, read that definition measure. one more time. Oh, Lord. Because now I'm really paying attention. <laughs> you got my phone? I'm trying to see oh, exactly <laughs> what it's saying. Oh, what are you doing with his phone? <laughs> his phone is in that, um. Oh, stole it from him. That's oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, pocket sucked right. in. He, that nigga trained <laughs> Clifford the big red dog in that outfit. Oh, <laughs> you look, You look like Barney, nigga. <laughs> that nigga on the Bar shirt. I think a fresh morning over this motherfucker. Big chin there, dude. Y'all got the same size chin. Fat chin there, dude. All right, go ahead. No, read that definition again. St. Bernard face there, dude. Any preparation are used as a preventive Any inoculation to confer immunity against a specific disease. It murdered it. Yeah, immunity. It right. got a little accent. It got a little. Well, they got a lot of little slick words in there, but here's the bottom line. To everybody who has gone out and did what was imposed on you, I, I hold no grudge against you. I mean, like, there are people out here who had to get um, the stuff put in them so they can keep their jobs. And, you know, some people have worked a long time at a job, and they don't want to let the job go, so they do what they basically have to do have been told they have to do i had a home girl same situation you talking about had to keep a job Chat. they fired her ass 30 days later so she got the stuff and she didn't want to get it and they fired her 30 days later fired her 30 days later she didn't want to get it mm. now i i just feel like everybody who has it is traceable that's what I feel like. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just saying, like, oh yeah. If you married to somebody who did it and you didn't do it and you running from the cops, they can find you. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. You think, well, they, you think they got some type of tracking? In that's the what I think. I can't confirm <laughs> this. Oh, God. I just think that. Yeah. You can be tracked if you have the the, the track juice. That's what I call <laughs> it, track juice. <laughs> I, I agree. I, something going on. Yeah. Something going on. D, 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 didn't you get it? Yeah. You can okay. be tracked, D. Okay, and what did I do? I haven't right, you ain't living no lifestyle like, yeah, that's foul. Yeah, I got a Siri. I got all that stuff. All y'all that are so... You a Christian woman, right? So, what? No, I'm not. Oh, you're not? No. So. Tell me you a part of the mafia, Christian. D. I'm not mm. Christian. I grew up well, Catholic, but I don't, claim, I don't claim any religion right now. I'm just a, a decent person. I'm a good person. Wasn't you part of the rhyme syndicate? Of course. So that's not a religion. Well, what is it? It's just an organization. Oh, hey. Twin was in it too. Twin was part of the syndicate. He was? Of course. Almost every LA for we we yeah. That was back when Twin had a ponytail. Yeah. That Twin was, you had a ponytail? Back in the day yeah. he had a long draping ass. Yeah. It's Look, like Go Mac, Go Mac used, used to have a finger wave. Silly. What they do? I said there's a reason why he's called Twin. There's another there's a brother. There's a twin. Oh, that, your brother had the long ponytail? Didn't it? Yeah. Yeah, they been ball. Yeah. Y'all ain't never had no hair? God damn. I'm just messing. All my ball brothers out there, um, from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> uh, what was life like for you older people before crack hit? 
was niggas regular or have we always been a little Wino. You hilarious. I'm just saying, because I don't remember life without crack. No, when we were growing up, it was winos. Yeah. Motherfuckers, man, look at that old wino motherfucker over there. Right, right, right. But see, my, right. my dad been smoking weed since day one. Yeah, you okay. Know, and growing it and everything, so. Mm-hmm. Weed is not crack, niggas though, dude. Like no, I know that, but I'm but saying, you're making Before crack, yeah, niggas, like niggas, niggas dressed like Corey every day. Weed, you weren't even a contestant. Get that fubu suit the fuck up out of here. Bad, that horn, that an idea. So what are the new drugs they're using since you new school, Craig? All these youngsters is on pills and meth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and it's lean. like co- coke is they light using now. Cough medicine. And coke shit, is yeah. like vitamin C. That niggas laugh at that. They Jeez. doing they doing Dude. pills. He said like meth. vitamin C, For nigga. Real, right? Nigga. The little vitamin C powder. <laughs> yeah. So the new stuff is is the is are the pills. Do? The, yeah. Do you, do you know what kind of pills are popular out here in Pas- Pasadena? Come? Same, I don't know what's the same shit that's popular. I would, I would think they get to the higher end pills out here in Pasadena, California. <laughs> I didn't even know Pasadena was hood until I just started coming out of here for real. Every uh, every every little area yeah. has its own little pocket, you know what I'm Ain't saying? nothing hood about Beverly Hills. No. Shit, I'm, mm. yeah, I don't know. Where's Beverly Hills hood at? Is, uh, you it's can, a lot of drugs being sold in Beverly Hills. <laughs> yeah. Those yeah. are those are upper class drugs. They're not yeah, yeah. they're not the same drugs they, you people are using. Yeah, the people niggas, in Beverly Hills, they probably actually have one. They probably them, say, "Oh, what's up?" Them niggas here. buy a key for leisure. <laughs> a key for leisure. What is that? A he key. said a key for leisure. I thought he said key for leisure. I'm like, what the fuck is key? You know, a new key. rapper or something? A key. You know, a key. A key of cocaine for leisure. <laughs> you were saying a key for a key. leisure. Right? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. I thought he said key. You're right. Oh my lord! <laughs> I thought this nigga had a cousin out here. So. <laughs> <laughs> they buy a key for leisure. <laughs> <laughs> he said a key for leisure. Anyway, <laughs> Brandon Luster, Marcus got on the same red zoot suit Denzel had on in the Malcolm X movie. Uh-huh. He about to ask Darlene for some grits. What? <laughs> <laughs> Brandon That's Luster, silly. thank for your $10. Yes, God damn it. Brandon, thank you. We can use We're it all. We're all squished God up in here. Sorry about that, Craig. Oh, I'm hitting oh, my Who is um, Singita? Singing Sing Gina. Singing Gina, what up, you know girl? What I mean? Yeah, that that Phoenix right there. She, that, that Phoenix. So she like was in Phoenix. Phoenix. That's how. Yep. Yeah. Singing Gina, I want you to know, I I did not try to not get that pussy after the show. Singing Gina, oh, oh. I, you were waiting too. I, I froze up. Singing Gina, don't give up on me. One of these weeks in Phoenix, I'm gonna go on here and pull it. She told me. She said. She said, Marga, I would throw it at you, but I know you like them little yucko. There you go. Peace That's her way of saying, do you want some old pussy? Yeah. I ain't want it. I ain't no, gonna no, You just worried about what people gonna see. Oh, Stop no. judging her. She oh, probably man. a good person. Especially you the head. I don't wanna go behind I you. ain't smashed her yet. She be trying to get. Hey, shout out to Craig Facts. Much respect. Piece of ink. 5150. Thanks for the $51.50. Yeah. Does that go to Craig? No, I go. No, I ain't gonna go to Craig. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm saying like. Uh, Talking about who we smash after the shows and things like that. She said, like I'm that. scared. Oh, she you said, scared? She about to about oh, you. Oh, you scared? Oh. I'm not yeah. actually scared. It's just I know that she going to not let it go after. <laughs> she's going to keep in touch with me. I know. Oh, yeah. She want me in California. I, I'm down here visiting now. What I was on do? the phone with somebody on the internet and she popped up on the phone call. That's what I know. Oh, she resourceful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she know how to find. She called you from Instagram? <laughs> Man, that girl gets around. Like, not, I ain't saying gets around like that, but I could tell she's one of them women who know how to find you. Yeah, yeah. And that's yeah. intimidating to men who don't want to be found. <laughs> Real <laughs> talk. Twin laughing because he was there. He saw her. She's yeah. not ugly, though. She's actually. Oh, no, no. She ain't no ugly lady. She's an attractive woman. It's just, I know she ain't going to go away. They said she's like to get, get some story. pussy and call you when I want some more pussy. <laughs> I don't like. People who be like, "Hey, where you at?" Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. <laughs> I'm outside your next show. <laughs> right. They said they want to see your socks, Corey. See my socks? Somebody I just got on some crazy socks. socks. They can't see the bottom of my feet, huh? Oh shoot! Not the uh oh, not the shoe cam. <laughs> hey, y'all gonna actually do what they say, huh? 
Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't care. Come on, I got some Ninja Gaiden socks on, nigga. Oh, shit. Mark is barefoot in this month. He always got on wallet shoes. Just one slab on the month. <laughs> Put your money in your foot. We got some. Craig got some Bratz doll shoes on, nigga. I bet you it was blood all in the shoes. That nigga jogged here with no shoes on. No, Mark is. You sharp. Don't let nobody tell you you ain't sharp. <laughs> you look oh nice, Mark. That's stupid. You win You're best stupid. dressed of the night. <laughs> hey, oh, the year, goddamn shit. Oh, the year. Have you seen the shit you had on this year? Oh, no, no shit. You was I, running I in some Timberland boots. I fucked you up a couple weeks ago, too. They who? I fucked you up a couple weeks ago, too. Me and Darlene were dressed alike. I fucked you up that week. That no, was hell. a trip when we showed yeah. up in the yeah. same colors. Me okay, and we'll go with it. Yeah, y'all beat me that night. Yeah. God damn it. Fuck you, Marx. Right. <laughs> so as we mm. as we are trying to abbreviate the shit now, mm. we're gonna let Darlene get oh, into her shit now. Is that right? So she can finally get a chance to say something, god let damn me it. Put with my her, little drink down. A mm. drink with stuff on the rim. Shaheen, <laughs> it is delicious like that. Okay. All right, so as we get this, this part of the show, it's called D's Loose Talk, Talk About Bullshit. Bullshit. Thank you very much. All right, as we already know. Uh, Dr. Dre is officially divorced, and the details... Shook that bitch, Nick. Go ahead. Well, actually, I don't know. Well, um, the details were released today, and word is that he's actually, he's actually happy with this settlement, although others are saying, wow, she came up. His now ex-wife, Nicole Young, will receive only a fraction of his total worth, which she, want, she wanted half of the $820 million. She ended up getting $100 million, 50 million now and another 50 million in a year from now. Dr. Dre keeps seven of the properties they own, including the $100 million Brentwood estate. He also keeps all of his business interests, partnerships, and trusts, and that includes all proceeds from Beats by Dre. He gets, he gets um, six of the vehicles, she gets four. She gets to keep jewelry, cash, and bank accounts that she maintained during their marriage, but she mm -hmm. also must pay her own legal fees, which is well into many millions. Uh, so they consider it a huge victory um, by accepting the settlement. By Dre said, just, you know. But, and also, by her accepting it, this forecloses Nicole to receive any future spousal support, something that she was fighting for. So, what do you think? She got too much, man. Oh, you can bring that she to She wanted us. half can, of the 820. Ma'am, you can walk up there anytime you, you want to. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever yeah. you want to do. Yeah. That's yeah. So you, yeah. Huh? Anybody else? Uh, Go. You can say hello <laughs> if you want to, you know. What? To us. Do you want to oh. say something, ma'am? You okay? <laughs> All right. It's working. That's, she, that's okay. right. I like you know that. I like that low key. <laughs> You know what a trick is? <laughs> okay, I just wanted to let you know who I was. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> no, Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre did good. I ain't no trick, but I trick. Dr. Dre did good. Considering the latter, that's true. And it feels good. Oh. This is the main thing you want to do in a divorce. Huh. You want to be through with it. Hey, look, let's get to the bottom of this shit now. I don't want to see the bitch no more, but yeah. I want to tell you something. A lot of women who got money in those divorces like that need to understand. You have to have somebody help you with your finances if you are not wise. Also, so Nicole is single. You're, you're right. The okay. streets worked Eddie Murphy wife about all that money oh I heard. Oh, my God. I well, don't need no some a, some little suave-ass nigga. I don't need friend. no bitch getting no residuals after I leave them. Ain't no residuals to get, nigga. Bitch <laughs> <laughs> gonna, gonna be like, I want the red hat. Wow. I can't work this up. But anyway, he did. He came up. She wanted half of the 820. So. She wanted half. She didn't get half. She didn't earn half. Dr. Dre, um, I want to tell you something. I'm glad you got all that over with, man. Um, I haven't seen you since... Um, a while, but I'm just saying, man. Dr. Drake did some things to help me out when I, I met the brother. I didn't even know him that good, but he was a fan, and I was a fan. And when I was in the room with him, I watched him fight for me. 
And there were them people who was hiring some lames to do this commercial. Next thing I know, we was doing the commercial oh, wow. for the Beats, yeah. the Beats pill when oh, it first came yeah, out. Yeah. Uh -huh. So much respect, Dre. I'm glad you got all that behind you. Now let's go get these hoes, nigga. Uh, oh well, my God, up I like don't a think giant he wants beat. to do all that. <laughs> Why do you think he don't want to do that? <laughs> he already has a special someone. He, oh, he got somebody yeah, already? Okay. Yeah. April. Holler at me in the streets, Dre. We know how it go out yeah. here, goddamn. Lord. We got paper. We ain't gonna never settle down. We always go keep these hoes out here upset. Oh Lord. Yeah. Anyway, you know, speaking of speaking of divorces, Maria Shriver and Arnold Schwarzenegger are finally legally divorced in one of the longest ever going divorces in Hollywood. It but do, do you remember what he used to tell her when she used to give him head? <laughs> <No>. Get down! <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. It took ten and a half years, and even though they both had moved on long ago and have been actually seeing other people and are in relationships. They had complications uh, with property, but mainly they both agreed that it was lack of motivation since they were both cordial to each other. Since, um, and what, what caused the divorce, of course, was, then, that was them finding out that the, about the other uh, baby and him messing around with the The help. main, I don't like Arnold you know, you know what Arnold Schwarzenegger told his wife when this dude broke in? No. Get to the chopper! <laughs> oh, uh, my God. You cut that one out. Right there. Oh, cut trash, nigga. I don't like on the Schwarzenegger. I, I saw, go, go ahead, my bad. Ever since he did that to took it, oh, fuck oh, on the Schwarzenegger. Oh, God damn it. Motherfucker, yeah. goddamn it. Uh, what, what, executed took it? He could have pardoned You could have yeah. pardoned him. Goddamn let took it get uh, executed. That was some bullshit. Yeah, I no, know. we'll see what happens. Took it was a real oh, nigga, man. Is. I saw that woman up close. The tribal lady. There she is. Which one is Arnold? That's a Ooh, good picture shit. of her. That's a good picture of her. That bitch is like she got a mask on. Yeah. That's an ugly bitch. Ooh. I'm just keeping it 1,000. You got to see her on her regular face. That's a makeup face right there. Yeah. That bitch is the Sith Lord on them. <laughs> on them <laughs> boy, that is an ugly motherfucker. I cannot with this. I one. ain't lying. <laughs> it's fully operational battle station. That bitch like Satan wife. That anyway, bitch is so, that's what I'm saying. I know it's a short show, so I'm just trying to fit in a little bit more. All right, so um, you know how the madam. Um, it's Get in everything you got to say, D. Wait, what? Some man never told you. Get in everything you got to say. <laughs> Very funny. Um, so you know how bad the figures are at that wax, uh, Ma Madame Tussaud. It's the D and the S is signed at the end, by the way, people. But no? at that Madame Tussaud, you know the um, wax museums. Okay, yeah. You know their figures are horrible. But lately they redid one of Rihanna, and it's supposed to be their Christmas version. Just take a look at this. I mean, it it everybody's just mocking it. Their most of their jobs are pretty horrible, but this is just terrible. So everybody's making a big brouhaha of this because it looks absolutely nothing. What of, what picture? I don't know. Abe is. Oh, Abe, Abe gonna get it up. So it. it Damn! What? What's there it that? is. That's the wax figure of Rihanna. Who is that? That's what I'm saying. So. That's a, that's a Puerto Rican bitch right there. <laughs> So everybody's pissed off. They're like, how dare you? So that's, they said they were going to redo their older version of Rihanna, which actually didn't look too bad. I forgot to add that picture. But I did bring up some of their worst ones. That's a light-skinned version of JJ's sister on Good Time. <laughs> that's them. And there's some other ones that in the past, like Chick -chick. I said, that they've, so now she's in the category of some of their worst ones. And then we've got some other ones. Of course, uh, Oprah. Look at their job. I mean, come on. That come on. They got the big face right. You know what? And then of course more. But the one. Oprah, Beyonce, Oprah looked like this comic I know. You know what? Yeah. I can. <laughs> I'm so. I don't want to say her name because she'll call up here. <laughs> so, so their wax uh, figures are just <laughs> off. It's like whoever. Is look at Beyonce on the left. Look Hold at the on. wax figure. Come that on. That don't look bad. Put it up a little closer. You serious? It doesn't no, look it, like it, her? it do kind of look like Beyonce. Come. Put it up closer. Maybe I ain't seen it. The face mark. Yeah, the big forehead. They got all it together. Does not look She got like a Joe Dirt uh, hair piece, though. Yeah. <laughs> you say Joe Dirt? Yeah, that's funny. Oh, my, anyway, but the one of I'll um, fuck that wax figure, though. Yeah. <laughs> I 
<laughs> wax the shit out that motherfucker. Wax that motherfucker like a motherfucker. I say to date, the worst one is Naomi Campbell. I'll oh eat that wax God. figure from the back. <laughs> look at now, Naomi Campbell. Come now, on. I look like her. Yeah. It got to do. It got to do. Yes, her neck will look too long, but it's good. it look like That look like her in the morning without all the makeup. <laughs> that bitch look like she had an exorcism. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but a good funny one is um, just, I mean, um, what's his name? That's welfare. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't. That's welfare. Oh, Who's that? Wow. Boy, hey, he look like Leonardo DiCaprio on Django. That's a I Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> That's Leonardo. That ain't no Leonardo when he's <laughs> at the table. What do you say when he's at the table, Carl? Right. Bring that church out to me. <laughs> Michelle Obama. Like, they're just so bad. Let's they're see the Michelle Obama so one. I know they ruined Michelle. Oh, no, nah, that ain't. Oh, oh they did oh. good with Michelle. Oh, they made her face. She Walter Matthau in that they, book. They, they, <laughs> hey. That's Nigerian Walter Matthau. Hey. Right anyway, <laughs> so shame on them. That's a hey. WNBA face. They put, about, <laughs> they put about 30 years on her ass. She Rihanna's, was like Angel Mama. All, all Rihanna's people are so Michelle Obama up. is a very attractive woman as yeah. long as you don't brag on her. <laughs> like, if you just be cool and yeah. walk with her, people would be like, oh, yeah. that's your lady. She's nice. She got, but if she got some braces, she'll be even colder. Oh, my God. Like she got, like, just it just, but story. if you brag on the people, like, that bitch ain't shit, Man. nigga. Fuck that bitch. No. She's strong. Six so people nine. are trying to, like, protest. They want them to take it down. They say it's a, it's a you know, it's super diss to uh, Rihanna. And then um, last, that every, the thing that every, a lot of people are talking about, that um, fight that broke out in the sermon in the middle of church with the two guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah. In Tennessee, in Chattanooga, Tennessee, right in the middle of the sermon. And I think the preacher played it real cool. He sure did. And what let it? me just tell you right now, this other picture of the of the preacher, why does he look like Boo Capone? Well, wow. please show the preacher because it cracked me up. When it I saw that other boo? picture, I was like, oh, my boo? God. Well, what what did the preacher say, though? The preacher's covering. He was cool. He was like, hey, hey, y'all. No, he said, Marcus. <laughs> this is Marcus. Marcus, come on, come Marcus. Come Marcus. Marcus. Come on, <laughs> come on, Marcus. Calm down, Marcus. You can use that clip. You can use that clip. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use that shit. Hey, man, it ain't no chill. It ain't no chill no more. Most people don't respect nothing. Right. People will fight in church. Funerals. Such as, well, they claim he was on drugs. He was on meds, I mean. Pardon me. Who? They on meds? He was on meds, and he who? was actually... The guy that swung on the other fella. They're actually um, forgiving him. They said that he just got out of rehab and he beelined for that youth pastor. The bishop's name is Kevin Adams. And yes, he... he um, Kevin Adams. And, and if you serious? have a church... No, I thought I said... And they be talking about church. come as you are. Nigga came drunk. Yeah, right. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the church up. If you, <laughs> oh my God. Now look, this is, this is something... Look how the preacher oh cool. God. Look at old boy, he taking his time to get yeah, over he there. Don't want it. He don't want the fame. <laughs> he don't want it. They don't want the smoke. Uh, oh, oh, the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I, I thought them niggas was calling <laughs> my name. <laughs> he got the actual clip. That's funny. Hey, but look, let me tell y'all something about that, man. <laughs> Can I say something about that? D, uh, what did you no. say was wrong with him? Um, that he just had, they said that they forgive him. He just got out of rehab. And he actually asked for uh, forgiveness. He said he actually didn't even know uh, that he rel he relapsed anyway. And he said that he didn't even I know. I told you he, he came to that motherfucker and fucked up. They even talking about coming as y'all. That nigga came as he was. But let me tell you something about people <laughs> who be off the chain like that. And the church And whatever kind of. Let me, I want to give people advice about something. Go ahead. When you have a friend uh -uh. who has no control of his either alcohol or other substances they put in their body, mm. it's best to make sure you don't bring that person nowhere important. That's a real spec. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you bring people who are not in control of their alcohol or whatever other substance they willing to claim, let me say that one more time. Because mm -hmm. yeah. most people don't like to claim the substance they really own. Most people <laughs> will hold up something they proud to claim. Yeah. I'm saying, when you know somebody and they don't control their alcohol well <coughs> and they don't control their substances well, don't go nowhere with them. 
Because they ain't gonna do nothing but burn the friendship down and act like you did them wrong. Mm. That's some real so where was his people? You're yeah. talking about where where was his support? I'm talking about if you say that man say that he was coming from rehab, right. I believe you. Mm. I believe you. But if I had a church, I will tell the rehab people, God don't fuck with y'all. Whoa. <laughs> what? What? Oh this, is my, this is my church. <laughs> this is where I hustle. <laughs> I don't want you up here with my good Christian folk. Oh, you drunk Lord. motherfucker. Uh, or you dope fiend you motherfucker. You gotta separate. You gotta well, separate the crowds, man. Everybody who ain't got control of their substances will constantly do stuff that's out of pocket and act like when you finally put your foot down, uh, oh, you did me wrong. Uh, yeah, that's you right. gotta separate your crowds though, too, though. There's like certain people, like certain people I grew up with, I'd never bring them around y'all. Yeah. Why don't you bring him around? Him? And who? What's huh? her name? Not really. Oh. That too. Deep, deep cracking the joke. Look at the man right there. I already know. He Hold up, y'all. Yeah. What up, man? I gotta yo, say what's yo, up to Yuck. Yuck, what's yo, up? Yuck, what's up with it, man? You good, man? What they do, man? Hey, you know that red? Is that oh, red? yeah, yeah, yeah. That motherfucker. Yeah. Yuck mouth in the oh, house, goddamn. Fuck that oh, shit. Man. I had to say something about nigga. I ain't say. Exactly. You ain't right. All right, now back to this shit we was talking about. Why won't you bring him around, Marcus, and be honest? I mean, various reasons, man. A lot of, well, one of the reasons, niggas. Are they rude? Are they loud? Or no, let them finish just it. Don't, they, <laughs> niggas, them, them niggas just, they just, they still stuck. You know, a lot of niggas still stuck on, 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 on when we was kids. Nigga never, never grew. Oh, so their mindset evolved. is, yeah, yeah they, they their matured. mindset is, 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 is just, they hmm. think different. They just think weird in the motherfucker. You it's know, all being I only like being around them sometimes. It's all being sugarcoated. And let me tell you something, Marcus. This is what I learned. Yeah. When you sugarcoat it, you hurting yourself. Yeah. yeah. When you around a motherfucker who ain't got control of their alcohol or substances, I learned this the hard way. Tell that motherfucker, hey man, I can't fuck with you, man, because you you ain't got no control of your of your of your bodily um um functions. Right. Mm -hmm. You do crazy things. You talk crazy to people. You touch people. You do too much. Right. Where if something happens, I'll be the one get sued, and you will be like, oh right. well, whatever. Right. So that's how that really go. Yeah. Wow. You got to watch your friends that ain't got control. That's I true. Agree. And the last thing uh, on the entertainment side, uh, after a three-year hiatus, the show Atlanta, or ATL, returns on FX, and the re they released the trailer for the new season on Christmas Day, and it looks great. Uh, with the creator and one of the show stars, Donald Glover, other cast members like Lakeith Stanfield, Tyree Henry, and Zazie Beetz. Uh, the first... Um, Episode will air though March 24th, but you can check the trailer out now. It was postponed because of the pandemic. So well, I'm say you got a Marion on your show. Uh, Marion, oh, that's what's, funny. What's but I'm excited. This is three, season? three. But they were, it was supposed to have been. Um, watched them yet? You don't watch them? You've never. Nah, you I didn't watched catch them yet. It. I, I watched the first good. couple it's seasons. It's good. But the new one, I ain't seen nothing. Yeah. Somebody yeah. in the chat room says, "Sounds like I'm talking about the gooey raccoon." Nah. I am talking about the gooey raccoon. In a, and, and, and anybody else that that fits. Wow. I know motherfuckers who get high or drink, do whatever they do, and you can still be with them right. because they're able to control right. their functions. Even when they super faded, yeah. they still be in control. Right. But right. there are people who lose control, and that's not the worst thing of it. The worst thing of it is when they act like, no, you just saying that about me. Right. You're right. like, what? Right. Right. Motherfucker, you are out of control. He, he was rude to begin with, and he wasn't even drunk yet. I, I, I remember because um, when he first walked up on the show, so he was already very rude and out of pocket to be. To well, the gooey, the gooey raccoon gets loud <laughs> because he portrays himself as a tough guy, but he really the cowardly lion off the whiz. Right. He will not fight nobody that's close to his size. <laughs> But it's, a lot, of, it's yeah. a lot of niggas in comedy like that. That's, that's actually some great comics, nigga. But they ain't just listen. comedians like that. We all got friends mm. that when we finally told them enough is enough, they stop fucking with you. Oh, yeah. yeah they, 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 they stop fucking with all you. All right, nigga, tell me. Are you uppity now, nigga? Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm just tired of And I'm the up. last nigga to be uppity. Yeah. I ain't never been uppity, man. I got friends that got substance and alcohol abuse issues and I, I tried to help them like for whatever that's worth like my help what is my help but I did I've tried to help them right. and I'm telling you 
When you put your foot down with them people, especially if they didn't get away with what they've been getting away with for a while, right. they all act like you did them wrong. Right. Yeah. Uh. The worst are the people who are addicted to drama. Mm. Yeah, oh, there are that's a lot a, of people like it, that. The yeah, same thing happen in your body chemically mm-hmm. when you experience drama as when you do heroin or coke. It's dopamine release. There you go. And there's certain people who are always looking to get that hit of dopamine yeah. and they just got drama in their life. And the more drama they got, the more it takes, you know, the next time for that dopamine release. And they just keep doing more yep, crazy yep. and more crazy. They don't ever learn. It's not even a lesson to learn to them because they're just living it. That's right. it. That's all they want. Because they think because they ain't on, ain't on coke or drinking alcohol. That they're not or addicted that they're not No, addicted. they claim they ain't on right, coke. Right, right, right. That's what they always do. Right. They'll show you, oh, I'm drunk. Oh, I'm smoking this weed. Yeah. Hey, man, no, nigga. No, nigga. Yeah. It's way more than that, nigga. Right. And I know it. Because I grow up in a family full of motherfuckers who do everything. Mm. <laughs> so I know when a motherfucker is on some different shit. Yeah. Even though it's some motherfuckers, I got an uncle, this motherfucker's straight wino, like we was talking about earlier. Uh-huh. Wino used to fight at all the parties. This is my mother's brother. <laughs> said used to fight at all the parties. Hey, he got well, into a fight. Mom. That was my mom. Got yeah. into a fight with my, okay, my... My brother, my mother's other brother had a party in Chicago, the projects, Cabrini Green. This nigga came over there, the other brother, the mother who was the wine over. Right, mm-hmm. right. But we knew it. The party was over because he was ready to fight everybody. <laughs> everybody. Why they fuck with him? Because that's his brother. Right. They give him a chance. But I'm telling y'all from my experience in life, when you fucking with somebody who got substance abuse issues where they always into something that shouldn't have happened. Yeah. When you let them get away with it the first time, you already have dug yourself in the hole where they going to act like you did them wrong when you finally put your foot down. Right. Uh-huh. You know why it's so hard to shake them type of people? Because they be fun. Oh yeah. Until they, really point, until they get to that point though. Until they get to that point. Until they get to that point, then it's all oh, like, oh, you done yeah. fucked everything. Up, they'll G. call you. Any nigga call you 10, 12 times back to back to back to <laughs> back. It's one of them niggas, man. Right, yeah. Oh shit. I agree. You didn't want our homeboy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know several niggas like that. I know a lot of niggas like that, too. And I normally shake them. Yeah. But in life, you take chances with people. Right. Because you like them. Right. I've, I've done this before where I took chances with people because I like them. And I'm telling you, all of them habits that are foul, something you would consider foul, mm. that you look over because you like them, they always come back and get you. Right, right. Every time. Yeah. The truth is, if you're around somebody who's reckless, your time around them is a delayed reaction of what they're going to do reckless to your ass. <laughs> you don't believe me? You'll see. Mm. Man. Guaranteed. Them motherfuckers will talk shit about you. You could be to help them motherfuckers do all kind of shit. Yeah. But when you stop letting them do what they do, yeah. ain't Kevin Hart got a little movie about that shit right now? Yeah. Oh, man. Yes. Right. I think it's a yes, show. Yes, the truth. His huh? best, best work. work. Yeah. Oh, period. Period. Better than anything he's ever done. Absolutely. Mm, mm, mm. Better. Yeah, let me tell you something about Kevin Hart. I saw that first episode. That's Kevin Hart. Yeah. See, Kevin Carter is a happy-go-lucky soul. Right. But he got a Tasmanian devil side oh, to him. Oh, no, yeah. Oh, Kevin, yeah, you it makes sense. sense. I'm telling you, man, Anybody one day, did I ever tell y'all about the time Kevin tried to kick in that hotel, though? No. no. What? I saw Kevin get off the elevator. Oh, no. I'm acting Here we go. silly. He kicked the half I, I, I act like I was a white man. I said, hey, we don't want your kind up in here. <laughs> and he was drunk. He said, what? I said, we don't want your kind up in here. He didn't know it was me for real. Yeah. And he was like, fuck you, motherfucker. Yeah. He said something like that. Yeah. And I said, hey, get your black ass to your room. Because he didn't know it was me. Next thing I know, this motherfucker was really trying to kick the hotel door in. I was scared. I was like, you sick. But people started coming out and looking. So he went on in the room, and when security came up there, somebody said it was Kevin, so they was trying to be cool because it was in Philly, and it was some black security in the yeah. hotel. They was like, cool out, cool out, cool out. Hilarious. But look, this is how Kevin is. This is why I love Kevin Hart. I called him about 10 minutes later, and I said, hey, man, that was me in that room. He said, 
You a stupid motherfucker, Corey. Let him in. But I was like, nigga, you trying to kick this door in, nigga? You trying to get to them motherfuckers on that other side. And he was by himself. Yeah, huh. let me, let me see. What I learned, yeah, no anybody that's a good guy, like, to the extreme, got a real dark side. Called oh, yeah, you never, th thank you. Hello. Yeah. And they're never duality. and and people always get shocked you by said Kevin kicked the mouse hole in the door. You stupid, nigga. It's motherfuckers on there talking about, wait, roll it back down some more. Stop saying subliminals and talk about precise. Stop. Let me it. tell y'all something. You're not gonna give me the shit on that man like that, man. The man had my back when we was in the streets. That That's nigga had my back, dog. Talk I'm talking like about that. precise. Used to, I used to be like, man, I'm finna run over here. No, nigga, I ain't gonna let you go by yourself. All that type of shit. Yeah. So all y'all motherfuckers who try to kick a motherfucker when he down or try to get me to talk some shit about a nigga, it ain't that easy. I done done it before. I done made that mistake before. Mm. Right, right, you get right. what I'm saying? Right, yeah. right, right. So I'm saying, even though it is what it is, I got real love for my brother, but I'm just saying, man, the shit I say is 100. Yeah. Because I ain't going to shit on no motherfucker like that that had my back in the street. Straight and up. I ain't talk about that fake back in the street. Yeah, yeah. That motherfucker was really with me mm -hmm. when shit was going to go down. Yeah. He wasn't off to the side like, Corey, want me to call somebody? You know what I'm saying? He's a man. He's a man. Yeah. I got respect for him. But Yeah, I hear you know him, him and let him know some people ask about him. They did what? I I hit him and let him know some people asked about him in um. What happened? Uh, what was it? <laughs> Phoenix. People gonna ask about him because he was a part of the show and yeah. he was a great talent. If you ask me, yeah, precise, yeah. Uh -huh. precise helped me with this singing shit, man. Yeah. I'm, I'm confident with my fucked up ass voice because I was around <laughs> precise, who was not lack of confident in no way yeah, at all. Talented <laughs> dude. Mm. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Shit, I say, be 100, man, and I ain't gonna. Like when I when, when me and Grady fell out, it was it was different because me and Grady, I felt like we knew each other in another way. And when I felt like Grady didn't do right, I felt like I was I lashed out. But I wish I wouldn't even lashed out about that. Mm. I learn. I'm a learning computer. I'm smarter than that. If you see me talk shit about a motherfucker, that means it ain't no return. Right. Uh -uh. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. So, I want to say to all of the ladies out there who um. Once again, didn't see the dude they've been fucking all year on Christmas. This Saturday, the same shit gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> New Year's Eve is a major holiday, and men spend major holidays with that bitch that is the real bitch. So if you didn't see him, and you got voicemails all day on Christmas, expect that this Saturday. <laughs> Oh no, it's Friday night. Yeah. Friday He'll probably night. call you I'll Saturday morning yeah. and be like, man, that COVID shit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it should be like, I saw your postings. You it's were New Year, morning. New Him. That's <laughs> funny. Anyway, what time is it? played off like this. It was New Year's Eve that night. I <laughs> <laughs> it. Oh my God. Man, I'll be so busy. I ain't know hey, 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 hey. <laughs> That's my type of shit. And again, golly, people, I have this on because I'm having surgery on the 12th. I don't want to take a chance. What do you have on? A mask, because everybody's oh. like, well, it was stupid. She got the vaccine and all this dumb shit. But I don't, don't you want, know. I don't want to delay it. You know you know what? Everybody on here is going to talk shit and try to kick up dust about things. And I'm then sticking there, my tongue out at him right there now. There are other mm. people who going to say whatever, whatever. It's comments about No, I'm saying everything. there's some I'm people done. that got in late, yeah, that wanted to know. They just like, oh, we just got What do G.I.T. mean, DJ Valid? Get Oh, nigga, y'all ain't get. shit. Get, don't get. Don't get. Let's that, that say get, nigga. That don't say get. That uh, get. Hey, get yeah, got yeah, it. Yeah, they gave it. They gave it that Arkansas spelling. Rudolph the red nosed brain deer. What? Somebody what? said that. Corey got the communion grape suit on. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was trying. I was trying to be conservative. It ain't my birthday. If it's my birthday, I'll be in this motherfucker with a goddamn um, sock on your dick. With a, oh, with a, with a, with a sock on your dick, goddamn it. Uh, 
uh, uh, I'd wear a turquoise tuxedo if it was my birthday. I don't give a fuck. That Corey's more country than me when it comes to dressing. Yeah. That's that a country. And you'll, dis, you'll disqualify what you say. Yeah. <laughs> Corey's more country than me when it comes to dressing. It comes to dressing. That thing more country than me, for real. He talk about the stuffing you eat with turkey. <laughs> that nigga country as hell when it comes to dressing, boy. That nigga there. That nigga so find the loudest out. shit he can find. Check this out. It's 10 o'clock. What we finna do on this abbreviated show is, now that D, you got all your bullshit yes, on Yes, I D? did, sir. Yes, I what did. What we gonna do is take a quick break, a very quick break, and try to come back with the band and end they got on something a to start with? last song of the mm. year song. We'll think of something. This band is talented oh, right wow. here, goddamn. Yeah, hey. yeah. Boy, them motherfuckers they knew what they were doing. In? They booked these people right here, goddamn. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we're going to make a song about Go Mac Coat. I don't Ooh, know. Go <laughs> Mac outfit. Birthday boy outfit. <laughs> right. But anyway, we're going to try to set it all up, and we'll be back shortly. About 10 minutes. 5150, y'all. Yeah. What's going on? DMZ, we're kicking off 2022 with non-stop laughter. The New Year's Comedy Jam, starring Tori Holcomb. Hey, if your reverend get a girl pregnant, uh, do the church pay his child support? With DC Young Fly. Ladies, when your lace front is peeling, get a new one. Plus Country way. My uncle, he hired me as a professional drug dealer one time. He was a big time drug dealer. He had all the weed. He had the loud and the quiet. Hey, what's up, Slim? January 1st, man, we're Constitution Hall. Two shows. Get your tickets. See you in the city, Slim. Along with B. Simone. Seven years I've been single. I said single, not celibate. Y'all not finna judge me. And Tony Roberts. Where my road rangers at? Let me tell you something. The speed limit is suggestion. 65, me 80. The New Year's Comedy Jam. Two shows Saturday, January 1st in Constitution Hall. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.
that you feel. Girl, I want to tell you I'm free.
Ah. Freestyle on the show. Oh. The 5150 crew ready to go. But it's hey. lots of friends in the house. Some from the west side, some from the south. My whole boy, he about to flip on the mic. He tore it up on that one hit that night. Passing the mic. You know what you got to say? Hit it. Say hit it. Hit it. Straight up in the hit building. It. Doing what I do. Feel how I'm feeling. Corey, how are you? 5150. Now I'm in the booth, they call me massive. And you know these bitches is a spoof. Yeah, making likes of jokes on a nigga. Yeah, you know you like to smoke with a nigga. Yeah, you know I'm really low, then I'm trippy. Look, bitch, give me Kobe vibes, you feel me? Look, trying to understand this shit. Uh, you know that she's a scandalous bitch. Yeah, I don't understand this shit. Yeah, sometimes I just demand the chips. Uh, you know it's all cool when I'm ripping. Yeah, Curry, I appreciate you, you my nigga. Happy New Year, everybody, how you feeling? Yeah, yeah. they call me hey. massive. Hey. I'm the nigga, boy. Yeah. If I'm, we give her this, this shit count. Hey, hey, know what I'm talking about? Hey, hey, put the south in your mouth. Hey, from the dirt to the south. Hey. hey. Hey, one more time, my spout. You ran out of things to say to let my man hit the mic. Go ahead and play. Go yeah. I came to play, I came to say. We gon' get money each and every day. Hey, what are we rapping about? What are we talking about? Don't keep the West Coast in your mouth. You know that we bringing it down. From the West Coast to the South. What? I rap a whole Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Look. Wow. You know we get coin. Of course. Come together, we gon' join. Run a roll and toy. Fuck that. She, she boring. Yeah. Can we curse? Can we not? Hey. Yeah. Say, to the top. say what yeah. you got to say. Don't be scared. I was fucking this bitch with a nappy ass head. Hey. I ain't gon' lie. She look like a swine. I ain't gon' have her hair. I smack a lot of bitch, I ain't a bitch, yeah. I got a bitch that work for me, and I run them pockets like surgery. And she act like she never really heard of me, and now I left and she really wants to murder me. And I, and I work it, Corey dressed like a murder urkel. Hey, Put it in a circle, Hey, You bitch, I'm a worker, Hey, I heard she was a turkle, Hey, Fuck it, I'll nerd her. Hey, in the damn Hey, make a bitch all I wanna hey. say to all the guests of the show from way back and all way before, I love y'all for everything you did. I'm talking about my man Zoe to Bobby Glenn Ty Smith. Yeah. Everybody who contributed to this thing that we are doing. Hey, you know I got love for you. Fuck them people. They wanna be screwing up the chemistry Woo. that we created. All the good shit. They hate it, but I don't give a fuck. Say what you say. I don't give a fuck. I play how I play. It don't matter who I'm fucking. You just mad. I'm fucking your mama. That bitch sad. Everybody know 5150 in the house. Coin Academy, no doubt. Yeah, happy Thank 
Corey for the star. He's a good nigga and he played his part. Gave me a market to chance, and now we can dance. Running around the world with hella fans. Yeah, wouldn't be this without the man. Wanna pay homage? Yeah, but most niggas would look my way and choose to vomit. Yeah, Corey got a nigga going like a comet. Yeah, yeah, and now I'm all over the world and I'm all over your girl and she's playing like she my pearl. Yeah, and I'm all over this rap and I'ma pass it back to my nigga with the red hat. Yeah, yeah, hey, I got yeah. you. Oh, hey. Join me when these hoes wanna swarm me. Shout out to my nigga Corey, dressed like Barney. Hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yo, check it out. We got a motherfucking new year coming up. Yep. We got about three, four more days left in this year. I want you to do me a favor. Everybody who can hear my voice, I want you to call up somebody before the year out. I want you to call up somebody didn't expect you to call them and you say to them good luck to you i wish you the best just tell somebody that that didn't expect it say good luck to you i wish you the best hey yeah. sometimes you can shock the world with somebody who really didn't expect you to say that to say that you got a couple of more days boy it's over call somebody that ain't thinking about
Thank you. 